Quick note, we're still adding content to the coupon course. It is still on pre-sale for only 20 bucks, so get in now, bro. Believe me, you'll be glad you did. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Chainsaw, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I got screwed for making a video about how we all got screwed, and I got canceled for it. So, listen, there's a lot to unpack, so let's just jump right into this. Um, so, as you all know, I've been making some surprisingly controversial videos about some unsurprisingly controversial topics happening here in Missouri, uh, mostly about Governor Mike Parson and his mismanagement of state affairs. I started on June 6, 2021, when I made my first video uh, regarding as such. It was a video called The Hard Truth About Unemployment. Now, two days after I made this video, well, let me let me start at the beginning. So Mike Parson has just been doing a bang up job handling the COVID-19 pandemic over the last year, as we have all seen. Right. Uh, first, let me say I'm not taking sides. This isn't a you know, Democrat thing. This isn't a Republican thing. It has nothing to do with partisanship. Right. Neither party has put forth a, a, as a mainstay of their platform to just completely ignore the pandemic and hope that it goes away. Obviously, Mike Parson hasn't been ignoring it completely as he had no problem personally taking money from the government from the federal government for his own business you know he just doesn't want working poor you know he got that ppp check uh, we we just heard the ppp loan uh, that was recorded in the kansas city star just i think it was two days ago and he just doesn't want the working poor to be getting a check so you know for a guy who's going to be making next year over a hundred forty thousand dollars let me repeat that one hundred forty thousand dollars next year alone just for being the governor and you know not for any of his you know not including his business ventures outside of public service right so I'm not so sure why he thinks he needed the money more than working families especially since he's cut so much from the Missouri budget despite the massive surplus. You know, this includes $2.8 billion we just received from the latest stimulus package added, you know, to that, the half a billion that we still had left over, right? Uh, they moved over, I think it was 300 uh, million for unemployment. That was, uh, that was done, what, March uh, 2021, but obviously we're not using those funds for that anymore. Uh, you know, it really makes you wonder what he plans on doing with the nearly 3.5 billion if helping struggling Missourians and Missouri families isn't on the agenda. But, you know, this is the same guy who said just over a year ago that if people don't feel safe on Election Day, then they just shouldn't vote. I mean, really disgusting stuff from a guy completely out of touch with the public and clearly only out for himself. But, yeah, so I've posted, I've been posting about this for, you know, almost a month. And, you know, I've been hoping to reach out to some like-minded folks who also have been paying attention. And, you know, like everyone else, I joined a Facebook group to help spread this information and, you know, of course, to promote my channel, right? We'll just go ahead and get that out the way real quick. You can get two free stocks from Weeble. Clicking on the link down below, we will send you two free stocks valued up to, I think it's like $1,800, $1,650, just by setting up an account, deposit $100, two free stocks in Weeble. You can do the same thing with M1 Finance. They will send you $50 by doing the same thing. Open up an account, deposit $100, and M1 will send you a free $50. They just upped that from 30 Also, I got Ibotta, bro. All about this. ChainsawCCC.com slash Ibotta. I just got like a bunch of erasers, pencils, a notebook, a pop, peanut butter, all kinds of crazy stuff, like 20 bucks free with the rebates, bro. And lastly, Fetch Rewards, similar program, all about them rebates to go with your uh, coupons. Speaking of coupons, hey, I got a coupon course, Chainsaw CC, I don't have a, a banner link down here, but uh, ChainsawCCC.com slash courses, definitely check out. Chainsaw's coupon course on pre-sale for $20, bro. We sell stuff. 
So I uh, definitely want to check that out. Um, we sell stuff on this channel, whether you like it or not. Um, you know, I joined the Facebook group, help spread the information. You know, uh, unfortunately, I ran afoul of, of one of the moderators in, in the group that I joined. And, you know, I was looking to disseminate information about the governor himself. And, you know, I certainly wasn't interested in... Well, I guess they weren't interested in rocking the boat when it comes to you know, some of the changes that are taking place regarding unemployment. You know, this seemed kind of weird, but, you know, OK, you would think that a group that was formed to inform people about unemployment would want to continue to follow the trends that are happening in the state regarding Governor Parson, um, you know, and his cutting off benefits and any calls to action uh, from the public regarding a response. Right. But unfortunately, I was wrong, and I was kicked from the group, which, you know, it's, it's weird, but it's understandable, right? Um, fortunately, another one of their moderators, uh, admins, rather, um, was gracious enough to keep me informed of happenings, you know, um, that, that she had come across regarding uh, some of the topics that I had attempted to discuss, and she actually forwarded me to another group, you know, very likely of people who were actually also kicked uh, from that first group for similar reasons and who also wanted to be more, you know, like me, be more proactive uh, toward activism. Right. Um, so ironically, this group, the second group, OK, this is two groups. Group one, not really interested in that, just sharing information and tips. Group two, a little more proactive, right? Activists. Um, this group was formed, ironically, two days after I posted my first video about Governor Parson, unemployment, and the labor shortage hoax, or misdirection, if you will. You know, two days later, this group formed. I'm like, sweet, right? By this time, I'd started working on a three-part anthology miniseries, you know, about the state of the state. And so when I found this group, I thought it'd be a match made in heaven, right? This is perfect. You know, so immediately I joined the group, you know, posted my first YouTube video um, on the subject, you know, the hard truth uh, on unemployment, posted it into the, in the timeline. You know, I, I asked the group admins, you know, I, I contacted them, uh, you know, uh, through Messenger, you know, asked them for permission, of course, to, to post, which, uh, you know, the one that I had actually responded, you know, happily agreed to. And I did mention, of course, you know, I, I use uh, a particular tactic on there that, you know, to grab attention from folks who may not agree with the message. So, you know, definitely watch for that and, and make sure you see the whole video before you, you know, make a judgment. And, um, you know, this is the kind of group where, uh, you know, you, you post something and they have the privacy settings. So everything that gets posted on the timeline has to go through the admins. You know, it's just uh, to, to keep out spam and all that stuff. But, you know, so I mentioned it to them and the admin was like, OK, great. Sounds good. You know, I'm super glad, super glad that you're doing this. Right. That sounds perfect. So posted the video, started putting together the, the second episode of State of the State. You know, and of course, after I posted that first video, you know, I waited, 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 waited some more, waited some more. So I, I tried contacting the same admin, um, no response, no response at all. So, you know, I attempted to post in the group, uh, you know, again, um, and still no, no response. Um, then something happened. Someone had posted that there was a group chat uh, through Messenger, you know, so I asked to be added into the chat and started going over some of the topics that were discussed. And yeah, I mentioned that I was having trouble, you know, reaching out to one of the admins and, you know, had, had attempted to post in the group, but, you know, I had received no notifications of my posts being accepted or declined. It was just like they were absent or something, right? You know, then the the admin who I'd originally contacted entered the chat um, after giving me permission nearly a week earlier. Um, she'd expressed some concerns of my posting videos and asked the group uh, to put it to a vote if they wanted to allow me to post my homemade videos on the timeline. Um, <laughs> YouTube, bro. Of course, they're homemade. I'm not going to go hang out in the garage. I'm not going to go hang out in the trees and record a video out in the woods, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, you know, it was a surprising 
vote of confidence from those who were active in the chat at the time and of course i was allowed to post which super cool all right so you know uh and hill leapt right keep in mind this was a week after i had initially po attempted to post so you know i'd already made two videos so i posted them both you know uh, the hard truth about unemployment state of the state episode one um you know the next day i, I was going through i finished episode two of state of the state and i posted the video on my channel on this channel and you know shared that one with the group and you know during that time members of the group had asked me you know some questions uh, you know just basically vetting me you know who i am what i'm doing the, the you know the vetting process all that you know and and the responses that i received uh from some of the more active members in the group were were you know they range from suspicious you know but accepting to highly accepting so you know very very warm uh, uh reception there I, I was surprised and, and delighted of course i even had one person i even had one person suggest that i'd be a spokesperson for the group when it came to speaking with the press because apparently i'm just so comfortable behind a camera i guess they hadn't actually watched my earlier videos where there are just cuts everywhere um you know and lots and lots of editing, which is why I'm trying to do this one in one take, right? But suffice it to say, the responses were very, very positive, even to my surprise. Um, then one person had posted on the timeline, um, and I quote, What is this group now? Uh, video channel? I thought this group was to fight for our benefits, not being reinstated. Now it's being hijacked by one man's video channel and a Discord. Really? Uh, of course, I'd established a Discord for the group. Um, they were basically running everything on the, you know, if you belong to Facebook groups, you kind of know how this works. Everything that runs on the timeline, somebody comments, somebody, you know, it just stuff gets jumbled around everywhere. And then, um, you know, everything else was being posted in a messenger chat. So, like, that's not a very accurate way. Like, Anytime you post anything, just just miles and miles of, of, of text and script, right? And it's a horrible way of keeping information um, together. Um, you know, if that's what you got, that's what you got. But that's why I established a Discord chat, built it. It's, um, you know, well, we'll get into that, too. Um, keep in mind, all these posts that, uh, you know, made it to the timeline, they had all been vetted by the admin before they were posted. So what this means is that the same admin who had agreed to let me post, then refused to accept my posts until the group spoke, you know, up on my behalf, saw this post in particular. Again, the, uh, <laughs> what is this group now? A video channel? I thought this group was to fight for benefits being reinstated. Now it's being hijacked by one man's video channel and a discord. Really? Um, the admin saw that post in their notifications and allowed that to be made public. I mean, that's some pretty twisted stuff, you know, already, but it, get, it gets better, okay? Um, the admin comments to that post, I'm deleting them all now and then proceeds to delete not only every single video I had shared from this channel, but also the one text post that I made about being proactive and trying to inspire and embolden folks who have been beat down and lied to and had nowhere else to go to find someone, some ones who would accept and appreciate their strife and their concerns. You know, in, in, in total, my spamming the group was three videos shared and one text post. Four posts. Four. One, two, three, four. Four posts in total. Hijacked? Come on. I mean, that's really disgusting stuff. And, and yes, I even created, again, the, the full Discord. It's much more elaborate than the one that I made for my own brand. Yes, I built a Discord for this group to help them categorize their discussions, their topics, their updates on information. 
and it is significantly more detailed and organized than the one that I designed for this channel. I mean, just disgusting stuff, right? Um, <clears throat> you, you would think that, of course, uh, part of their job would be, especially since I have their permission, and, uh, you know, support, would be to actually take up for me and not let uh, trash like that get through. Or if somebody does ask a question, you know, to be there to answer. Oh, this guy has a YouTube channel. He's, you know, uh, supporting the cause, da da dies, you know. No, we're not doing that. We are not doing that at all. In fact, we're going to vet stuff that this guy posts, not allow that publicly. So we're going to censor the hell out of Chainsaw, and then we're going to just let the haters come out, and we'll get to that in a second. So because at this point, all of my posts were deleted. You know, obviously, I, I jump into the group chat, and I ask, you know, hey, why am I being canceled, bro? Um, the explanation given by this admin was that she had received a plethora of complaints from members about my spamming the group, you know, with videos and that hundreds, literal hundreds of people had left the group. Keep in mind, this is over, a co over the course of three days that I was actually in this group. But we'll get to that in a second. That in that First two days, literal hundreds of people had left the group and that even Facebook was sending her notifications about potential fraud and spam as a result of all the reporting happening by members. Now, I checked when I joined the group, there was like five hundred and a half people. Um, by the end of this story, there's going to be like eight hundred and something. So there's actually more people um, who joined the group. Now, I'm not going to say that that's a result of me. Of course, I didn't not bringing in hundreds of people to their group, but uh, certainly no hundreds of people left the group. Like, I keep track of this stuff. It's kind of what, you know, numbers is kind of what thing I do, but that's beside the point. So when asked for screenshots as evidence for my request, you know, because I just multiple times, multiple times I asked you know, for these accusations, do you have any evidence to show this up? You know, can you show us screenshots of these notifications from Facebook talking about spam posts or from people just complaining that, you know, they hate me in particular, or they hate that I'm posting YouTube videos in a, in a group that posts news articles? Refused. Refused. Just completely declined. Um... So no, no evidence whatsoever that any of these uh, allegations are true. Um, so finally, I made a declaration to the group. I addressed them specifically uh, in the group chat because that's, you know, I, after being canceled, I did. Obviously, I'm not going to post in the group itself because then it has to go through that vetting process. So I specifically addressed the group chat. I addressed them, stated that I would only post one final video. It would not be from here in the studio. And it would not be shared from this channel. And that it would not be made public, but it would be made directly for this group. And that I would post it directly into the group. So no cuts, no ads, no banners, none of that. No referral links, just me. And some trees and i did i there were trees i got stung by bees pretty close to my knees i actually think i also stepped on a thorn brush and i, I probably didn't need a tetanus shot but you know well i guess we'll find out in two weeks but you know th this video that i would record and i would post you know i would basically introduce myself to the members and to tell them just my story right I would tell them my story and how I got screwed last year when the pandemic started. And I would tell them, I should have told them about my employees, but, uh, you know, because I got a lot of calls from former employees who also got screwed, but that, you know, escaped my mind because I'm out there in the woods, it's one cut, right? But I, I would also tell them why I feel so passionate about helping people who are in the same dire situation that I was in. I mean, honestly, that's why I have the referral links, you know. You can get uh, free stocks of Weeble. You can get uh, cash with M1. I mean, that, that helps you, you know. I, I'm doing a different thing. So, you know, free money in your pocket is great. Um, you know, not so much for me. Uh, basically, I am who I am. And 
here I am and you know this is why I'm here and why I do what I do uh, you know just in case that fact uh, that I you know I mean that I have lights and a switchboard should not terrify you or whatever you know this if you don't have one of these I'm sorry if you don't have one of those I'm sorry you know if, if you don't have one of these then you know you're probably not if you don't have any of those you're probably not gonna be watching this right and you're probably not gonna be in the group anyway so now you got this stuff so like it shouldn't be it shouldn't be just so scary but if it does this will be my way to help ease the situation for you now that video ended with a call to action two calls to action um, firstly to everyone who would see it to first respond by pulling out their phones and telling their story you know I wanted to hear their stories about what brought them here and what struggles they may have been facing you know why are they in the group what what have they gone through over the last year and why are they so frustrated enough to be in that particular group with that particular message right you know finally i would ask that everyone speak out on my behalf and demand that i not be canceled otherwise not only would i not be able to post anymore in the group but you know likely that's going to discourage anyone else who ever would ever either you know and and honestly the when I asked the group for their permission to make this video, it was an overwhelming yes from the group chat. So I proceeded to make that video and I did. And I posted it the following morning and I waited and I waited and I waited. Lo and behold, as I suspected, that video never made it past the admin's desk. So here we go back into the group chat, find out what the hell is really going on, right? Much, much more politely than that, you know, I asked that very thing. The response from other group members was both, you know, surprise and anger at my being canceled and censored, especially after all this response. Um, didn't see that coming. They were speaking up for me right then and there. Um, the admin, of course, entered the chat. I was told to shut up multiple times. Um, I should be clear. Now, this admin, keep in mind, has no power over the group chat. So... You know, I can't be blocked by her in particular. Uh, so the response was just to tell me to shut up. Um, the response to my questions and defense of my character, my passion and my purpose was to tell me to shut up. She even went as far as to say that I was worse than a five year old. Just really, really poor leadership all around. The, the admin did respond. She responded by kicking me from the actual group that she does control. Not because of the videos I posted, but because I had asked in the, the group chat that she does not control, and that was her only power over me, was to kick me, block me, and kick out other people who had spoken out on my behalf in the group chat. People who had spoken up for me got kicked from the group. The word here is authoritarian. That's a despotism, if there, if there is a definition. So in short, censored, then set upon to look bedraggled, then democracy finally won the day, then I was set up and framed with false allegations, canceled, censored, lied to, talked down to, and canceled again, all because of the purple lights, oh, and all these other shiny things. I mean, 
Honestly, I'm not sure what the hell happened. I could speculate, but what's the point? I was asked, uh, you know, later if I would start my own group and, you know, continue to lead the charge, you know, against Governor Parsons' uh, war on the poor. But yeah, I thought to myself, you know, what, what, I mean, really, what's the point? I mean, that might be a little weird for there to be two groups in the state going after the same one goal and who obviously would not be working together, which is strange in the first place, right? So, you know, and I mean, this group is not in a position to not take my help. You know, they're, they're honestly not in a position to not take help from anyone. I mean, this is a group that has been around for almost a month and can't even figure out how to reach out to an attorney. I don't understand why I'm the first one who thought of pulling out their phone and talking about any of this. You all have them. You're probably watching this video now. You should be posting something after this video. I mean, wouldn't it be easier if the attorney called you? If anyone contacted you? Wouldn't it be easier if you did anything to call attention to the cause? I mean, think about this. That was my whole purpose in being active at all. Could have sat in the sidelines, not got talked to like trash by someone who obviously <laughs> is lacking in leadership. I mean, as for me, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'll leave that to anyone who's uh, watching this video. I mean, feel free, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you have any suggestions on what you think a guy like me should be doing out here, right? <laughs> I can only imagine what this comment section is going to look like. Um, you know, and don't worry if, if any of the admins see this video, you know, and they see your comment. I don't think that group can really afford to lose any more members, if you know what I'm saying. Um... Look, the fact that this person wants to represent less than a thousand people out of a potential 120,000 people who have filed claims, who have been affected. I mean, you want to take on the governor of a red state who ran on a platform of cutting spending under the premise that you want the courts to overturn his decision to spend more money on you. And you can't even handle me? What the f